Scientists created monkeys from stem cells embryo-like structures. Chinese scientists used monkey stem cells to creation of embryo-like structures. So developed in the laboratory embryos, when implanted in females, appear to pass through the earliest pregnancy stages. This research aims to improve our knowledge of development embryo and early organ formation without related ethical dilemmas using human embryonic cells. We know that potential possibilities of using cells the parents, both in science and medicine, are quite wide. Scientists from the Chinese Academy of Sciences used the stem cells of crab-eating macaques, Macaca fascicularis, to develop an artificial embryo. This is how the embryo was created implemented in female macaques. Observations have shown that developed in the laboratory structure appears to be going through the early stages of pregnancy. Understanding how human fetuses develop on it at the cellular level, it is an extremely difficult task. For many reasons, the mechanisms of embryo development are still largely unknown. The problem is first of all, ethical considerations related to research and experiments on human cells. Work by Chinese scientists and use of macaque cells they are an attempt to circumvent these restrictions. Research conducted in Shanghai concerns stem cells macaques, from which embryo-like structures were created and which later implanted in females. Never before in the history of scientific research has anything like this it didn't happen. Taking the same step with respect to human stem cells would certainly be criticized for unethical aspects. Besides, this experiment may still be controversial. Nevertheless, scientists decided to use some genetic relatedness between humans and monkeys. The aim of the work is to examine the forming process more closely the development of embryos and the subsequent development of organs. Of the obvious for reasons, observing fetal development in real time is impossible, and their obtaining for this type of needs in many countries would end behind bars. Scientists hope that research on monkeys will enable them to be transferred at least some of the animal to human applications. But how did these embryos even arise and how was the experiment itself going on? First of all, the mentioned structures first grown in laboratory conditions and then analyzed at microscope help. They were found to resemble at that stage blastocysts, early stage of embryonic development. They developed until, when they started to resemble a yolk sac, a structure that is part of membranes fetal. Moreover, subsequent analyses showed that expression took place in them a gene similar to that found in natural blastocysts. It was at that stage of the experiment that it was decided to implant them in female monkeys by placing them in their uteruses. Total used for this purpose, 8 females. However, already in this phase the first problems began. First of all, the very placement of embryos in the uteruses was successful for only three females, for the rest of them to nest in it didn't happen at all. However, in the context of these three, it turned out that their bodies they reacted by producing hormones in much the same way as they would in the case of a real pregnancy. However, the further course of the experiment turned out to be true disappointing. The implanted structures were unable to transform into anything that even resembled fetuses. As a result, in just a week they physically disappeared. According to some scientists, developed in this way, the structures are simply too different from natural blastocysts, therefore, they would have no chance of surviving in any form educated organism. On the other hand, they believe that this is the issue that should remove any ethical concerns regarding this type of research.